quality of life that I'm supposed to be living as a human being. Do you know people live their lives as human beings and they never really know the true purpose of how to live their lives as a human being? Because God has given us life and God has given us existence, but God has also given us a purpose as humans to live a life that's pleasing and honoring to Him. So every day we can draw closer to Him in fellowship. Every day we can draw closer to Him in our personal relationship. And my friend, that's what true fellowship is. But the only way to get there, my friend, is you have to have the starting point. And the starting point is trusting that Jesus died for your sins and rose again the third day. If you trust that and believe on that for the salvation of your soul, that is the beginning of your relationship. That is the beginning of true thanksgiving. You don't know thanksgiving until you know the Lord. You don't know thanksgiving until you know who Jesus is, why He came, and His purpose of why He created you, my friend. Can I call you a friend today? You know, I had some friends invite me over to the house today for a blessed Thanksgiving dinner and blessed Thanksgiving fellowship. But you know, our true Thanksgiving fellowship it evolves around Jesus Christ. True Thanksgiving evolves around the Holy Bible and the things of God that are holy. My friend, I want to show myself friendly to you today. But the Bible says... A man that hath friends must show himself friendly, but we have a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. I'm here to be a friend to you to tell you about a friend that's greater than, a greater friend than I am. His name is Jesus Christ. And he wants to pay for your sins because he wants a personal relationship with you. God just can't accept you in your sin nature. Sin is what separates you from God. God is holy. He's righteous. He's just. And I contend that every day in your life, you want holiness, you want righteousness. When sin starts happening to you, you want justice. So my friend, every day, you testify in your life as a lost person, and even as a saved person, that you need the one that sticketh closer than a brother, the righteous one, the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to have that. I can't, I can't give it to you. I can just be a mailman and deliver you the message of the one who can give it to you. And it's the Lord Himself who loves you. He loves you. He loves all of you. He loves you and you and you. He loves, he loves everyone. Do you know God is so loving? He even loves the people that are in hell right now. But you know what got them into hell? It wasn't God not loving them. It was the rejection of that love so they could respond to God's love by loving Him back, by receiving the gift that He so lovingly gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. So when you reject Jesus Christ, you reject the love of God. When you reject Jesus Christ, you reject the hope of heaven, the hope of forgiveness of sins, the hope of eternal life. My friend, you lose the greatest, the greatest gift of all, the Lord Himself. Eternal separation from God. People say eternal separation of God would be a hell in itself, and I believe it would be. But I also believe that hell is a physical place for physical people that will have a body. Matthew 10, 28 says, Fear not them which kill the body, are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So it's a physical and a spiritual place for people that reject God. You will suffer weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth where the worm dieth not, the fire is not quenched. What to be thankful for that you avoid the wrath of God by receiving His only begotten Son, that you avoid God's wrath by receiving the one who died for your sins so that you could not only have a license to go to heaven. That's great. You can go to heaven. But you know what's more important than that? A relationship. A relationship with your Creator. For eternity. Jesus says that where I am, ye may be also. Look, I want to be where Jesus is because I'm thankful for the one who gave me life. I want to be where Jesus is. If he's in heaven, that's where I want to be. If he's on earth, that's where I want to be. If Jesus Christ is on another planet, guess what? That's where I want to be. Heaven is nothing without Jesus. Heaven is, the, is outer darkness without Jesus. My friend, you want to be where Jesus is. When I look forward to after I die, I don't look forward to heaven. I look forward to being with my Jesus, my friend, and I'm thankful for that. And this is Thanksgiving Day to God. 
I don't give thanks to turkeys. I don't give thanks to Mother Nature. I don't give thanks to, to Father Time. I give thanks to the only true God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And my friend, what a gift. What a gift. Someone, someone would come down to this earth, not just any someone, but my God who created me would come down to this earth how, how could my creator, who didn't have to come to earth, come to earth for a speck of dust like me, for specks of dust like you, who, who don't even desire to seek God from the womb, who don't even desire to seek God, even when we have uh, accountability and understanding in our hearts and in our minds, and we don't seek God. We seek ourselves. We seek politics. We seek social, uh, social uh, uh, you know, themes and things of, of this society. Why do we seek all those things? Why don't we seek God? We know God exists. But the first thing in Romans 1 that goes is, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Romans 1 testifies that the first thing to go in a lost man's heart and mind is they refuse to be thankful to God. And when you don't, when, you know, and even before the unthankfulness, they deny God. They deny His existence. And then unthankfulness sets in. And then it starts going down into regression and depravity. That's what happens. When you don't acknowledge God and retain God in your knowledge, unthankfulness. Then a, a whole regression of sin and a reprobate mind is the outcome. Do you understand that today is Thanksgiving to God Day? And don't you understand that it's, it's giving thanks to God is an acknowledgement of His existence. Giving thanks to God is an acknowledgement that there's something to be thankful for. But my friend, I'm more thankful to God than just getting a turkey today. I'm more thankful to God than just getting some mashed potatoes and some gravy and some, some rolls and some beans and whatever. I'm more thankful to God because He supplied me with true living bread. He, tr he provided me with true living water. He provided me with the sustenance that I need as a human being to live eternally with Him. And it's only through Jesus Christ. You want bread? You need to eat His bread. You want water? You need to drink His water. No, my friend, the Thanksgiving stuff ain't going to do. Not without Jesus Christ. So, my friend, if you don't know the true meaning of Thanksgiving today, repent. Repent today. Let Thanksgiving, let your Thanksgiving be transformed today. By number one, you being thankful for God giving His only begotten Son to die for your sins. And number two, for giving you the ability to live a life victoriously for Him by obeying the Bible. How about that? How about that for giving some thanksgiving to God? He enables us to know how to live for Him. And, the, and people say, well, I, you know, you can't do this and you can't do that in Christianity. My friend, He gives us the ability to live for Him. And in the end of that life, there's blessing. Amen. And even some piano playing. There's blessing. You know, when you live your life for Jesus Christ, there's blessing at the end of the road. So I hope today that you consider trusting Jesus Christ as your Savior. And if you're saved today, let's get a transformation in your mind by obeying the Bible, living the rest of your life for Him, and being thankful every single day. Not just one day. Well, one day a year ain't going to do nothing for you. It's Thanksgiving every day. So... I thank God not just on Thanksgiving because some people only give God thanks on one day and then they live like the devil for the other six days. I'm talking about giving thanks, giving to God every day and living your life every day because you're thankful for Him. You live your life for Him. How about that? Romans 12. Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. That's thanksgiving to God. To give God your reasonable service to live your life as a living sacrifice every day for Him. And how do you do that? Obey the Bible. Obey the Bible. Obey the Bible. Obey the Bible. When you do that, you're honoring God 
and you're living the best life that God wants you to live and that's available to the human being today. Any lost person doesn't really know what it really means to be a Christian and living your life for Jesus Christ. But I'm telling you, once you live that life and once you experience the blessings, you don't want to go back. You don't want to be that old man anymore. You don't want to live that old life anymore. You don't miss those old things anymore. You don't want to go to those old places anymore. You don't want to engage in those old sinful acts anymore. My friend, there is new life in Jesus Christ. And you can have that. It's available to you today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Have a great